Hello! In this video, I'm gonna show you how to connect your DJI Osmo 360 to Mac. You can connect it without downloading the software and I'll show you how it works but later I'll show you how to get the software because with software you'll have more options. So let's uh, get uh, the device connected. First you'll need to open the USB-C port on your DJI Osmo. To do it, pull this switch to the side, the, then pull the door down. Now you can open the door. Here is the USB-C port, which you need to plug a cable in. Make sure that the cable that you're using supports data transfer. Not all cables are built the same and some won't support data transfer. Now the other end of the cable has to go into your Mac. Now they should be connected, we'll see that. Let's turn on the Cosmo, the Osmo. And once it asks whether file transfer or charging only, select file transfer. Now, if this thing shows, just ignore it, because you'll have the Osmo 360. If you don't have Osmo 360 on your desktop, go to Finder. Then go to Osmo 360 in Locations. Now go to DCIM and here you'll find different pictures and of course you can open them. You can see they are openable but they are like stretched and a bit weird because it's just opening as a plain photo. Some files also won't work. Some files that are <clears throat> like panoramic videos, they won't work at all without the software. But you can view some either single lens photos and videos or just panoramic, panoramic photos but not videos. In order to get it working fully, um, you need to get the software. I'll go to a browser, then let's search for DJI Studio. You can see I have DJI Studio here. This is the link if you want to copy the link instead. Um, and then you'll find DJI Studio. You'll need to select Mac and it's supported only on Mac OS 11 or newer. Now the current version is Mac OS 15, so you probably don't need to worry and uh, it supports both Intel as well as M1, M2 and other Apple Silicon Macs. Mm. So it has a high support. You can see it's getting downloaded in the downloads right now. So let's wait until it gets here. I'll see it maybe on this list. Okay, it's gonna be about 40 seconds. Once you have the file, feel free to open it. Then click on continue. There's some privacy policy, let's continue. The terms of use, let's agree to them. Then you can install whether you want, you can select whether you want to install it for all users on this computer, only for you or on a specific disk. I'll just install it for everyone and then click on continue. You can change install location if you want. I'll install it, then verify with your touch ID or password. And now it's almost finished. You can see the app is already being opened. I'll move the PKG file to trash. I don't need the installer anymore. Then if you go to connected devices, you'll see your recordings here. And if I go to like any of those, I can view it. Like this is an image, so I can rotate it like that. See, it all works properly now. If I go to a video, it will also work. Doesn't work perfectly because it's currently streaming from the USB-C. But if you want, you can download it. 
I'm downloading the file right now. Now, uh, once it is downloaded, let's see if it plays from here. No, it's still like sort of doesn't okay if I go to downloads now this file if I open it it's still not perfect but um, maybe there is something that I can do with it maybe create and that will let me export it into a different file format and yeah I'll close that there's some Chinese I, I don't even get it yeah so this is how it works i hope that the video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one